Welcome back to Metroid Fusion. Alright. Onward towards our objective of clearing the atmospheric stabilizers. Which are basically just big floating fans that they've uh, latched onto. They're the uh, bigger X parasites, and they've latched onto these stabilizer fans. Are causing all sorts of havoc. I think our first one is in here, actually. No? Okay, this is just before it. Now, these things are annoying. Eventually, they'll get bigger and bigger until they become a real problem, and then they drain your health. They suck on you kind of like a Metroid. But I really like the uh, introduction of the X parasites. I like them almost better than Metroid. Now, you can see one right there is lobbed onto the fan thing, and it's spitting out X parasites. That's what... Uh, our AI Adam meant by their continuously breathing, uh, breeding. Heh, <laughs> breathing. Yeah, they're doing that too, I think. So you just have to hit him with a couple missiles. And that's basically our objective for this sector for now. I think there's other things we can do in it later, but for right now, we just have to clear these. So we have to go room by room. And just basically follow the general direction of the map. That's one thing I didn't do as a kid. I didn't really critically look at the map, so I ended up getting lost a whole bunch of times. And even still, in my practice file, I ended up getting lost. Now, there's an E-tank down there. Very easy to miss. So now I've got two health. I also moved my logo down to the right, uh, bottom right corner. That should help. Shouldn't be in the way of anything. I already made it smaller than it usually is, just because I didn't want it to take up too much of the screen. And some of you are probably wondering, why do you even have that to begin with? And I'm like, I like the presentation element of it. Not too many people do it with a watermark. They do ones that are a little bit more transparent, but I like having one on screen just so people know it's my video. And Just the aesthetic of it is really nice. Kind of reminds me of old school TV. That sort of thing. Plus, I like my logos, so... Probably it's just they, they mean a lot to me because I design and make them myself. Alright, now where the... I thought there was an opening somewhere around here. Oh, no, wait. You have to go all the way up. That's my bad. There we go. See, stuff like that will happen throughout this playthrough. Where I'll conveniently forget what to do in a certain room because it's not blatantly apparent to me. All right. It looks like one missile at a time is what these uh, X's refill, but I don't know. Okay. Let's look at the map again. Looks like we can go a couple different ways. Let's go this way first. You really gotta pay attention to the map in these games if you don't know where you're going. Because you can very easily get turned around. Just remember the purple zones are the zones that you've been in before. Don't be afraid to backtrack. That's a large part of these types of games is uh, uh, Metroidvanias in general. So the name is very convenient. Oh, they, they're space pirates. Wow. Alright, so... Ordinarily, we couldn't go into a room with high lava, but it's just the ground that's lava, so it's not the whole atmosphere. And there's a missile tank. Early on, we will find a lot of these. I was actually surprised by how many I picked up in my practice file. I'm still not done with that file, by the way. I might go and play that after I'm done recording. I think I'm going to do two parts here, and then I'll go and play that. Just because I want to see what's gonna lie ahead for me. I'm, I'm quite a bit of a ways ahead. I've got quite a few more upgrades for Samus. I'm a lot further along. It didn't take me long to get to where I was in there. Ooh, nailed it. But yeah, that's the power of the X Parasites is they mimic new enemies and classic Metroid enemies. I think a couple of these are new. But many of them are callbacks, like those were clearly uh, space pirates. And you'll notice some of these atmospheric stabilizers, they try to make a little bit more puzzling to get to. Alright, two units left. Alright. 
right. So it looks like uh, the X parasites refill nine health. So that's cool. Alright, here's one more. Didn't mean to do that. And you can technically, I think you can do a wall jump in this, but I'm not very good at it. And it's not 100% necessary, at least not yet. That's I'll have to see where in my practice file I get to where I need it, and then I'll have to really practice it, I'm sure. But it's just going to keep spitting out X Parasite, so i got to get up on this ceiling ladder here. You actually have to hit up. Samus doesn't automatically cling to it. But I remember, I got this game for my birthday, and um, I couldn't stop playing it. It was amazing. I had a regular Game Boy Advance at the time, just your standard purple. It was so much fun. Oh my goodness, it was it ever so much fun. I think I got this for my birthday. I think it, what, no, you, I think what happened was I got a Game Boy SP and started playing this on my birthday. I might have gotten it with the Game Boy SP. I may not have played this on the original, I honestly don't remember. Either way, the Game Boy Advance is one of my top favorite consoles of all time. It's like a second Super Nintendo. It was perfect for porting Super Nintendo games. Anybody remembers the uh, ports of Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros. 3 from the All-Stars Collection, Super Mario Bros. 2... The only one I don't think was on there was the original Super Mario Bros. At least I didn't have it. I had Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, the Game Boy Color Super Mario Bros. That was really fun for anybody who remembers that. Alright, um... Not a whole lot that can be done in here. I know there's something, but... I just don't remember what. Alright, uh, yeah. There's, I don't think there's anything in this room till later. Okay, no, well, I'm trapped. So there's gotta be something in here. They wouldn't let you in here if you couldn't get out, I don't think. I hope. Stupid crabs. Alright, well this is actually... Oh, there it is. I was gonna say. Alright, so I gotta get back up on the ceiling ladder is what I gotta do. And I gotta shoot missiles in there. Or the uh, monkey bars as they were. There we go. All right, and here's our boss door. So we're right need to, where we need to be in that respect. There's a save room. Awesome. So if you fail at the boss, you got a convenient save point. The game's pretty generous with that. I don't always give you a recharge room, but I mean, hey. They're pretty generous, and that boss door will give us a red X parasite, so we should be in pretty good shape. This one's a little tricky because you gotta climb the ladder to dodge the blast. Oh, he opened up twice. There we go. We're all full. Okay, let's see what we got. And what was this? Chozo statue. Okay. Uh, armored X core. Just shoot the eye when it appears with missiles. And just shoot it with regular blast to get X parasites for health. I 
Like I said, I really like the uh, X Parasites as enemies. Charge Beam ability recovered. Press and hold B to charge. Awesome. Basically, this makes our beam as powerful as, I think, a missile. Kind of redundant, but... It's a cool effect. At least I think so. Alright. I'm trying to do morph ball bombs and I don't even have them yet. That's how far ahead I am. It's just an instinct of mine when playing Metroid, because once you get morph ball bombs, you want to bomb everything in order to find secret areas. Alright, so the trick to this one... And I have to shoot it from the other side. All stabilizers online. Atmospheric levels equalized. I don't know if that's Adam's voice or if that's... Different voice. There is an audible AI voice that you will hear in the game. And it's clearly not Adam. It's uh, the station's AI, whatever it is. You don't hear it very often either, I don't believe. I could be wrong, though. Again, my memory's a bit fuzzy on some aspects of this game. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still getting over uh, some sort of respiratory problems I've been having. Okay. Um, yeah, we've pretty much done everything that we can, so let's head back... Navigate main navigation room. Charge beam makes short work of these guys. Oh, also, if you jump with the charge beam, you can damage enemies, but they can also damage you. It's sort of a uh, like a proto screw attack. I think it's really neat. I don't remember if you could do that in. Uh, in Super. I don't believe you could, but I... I spent a while since I played Super, too, so I don't really remember. It's also been a while since I played 5. This has kind of reinvigorated my wanting to play more older Metroids again. So I specifically want to play this and have this come out on the Switch, but... Unfortunately, it's not there yet, so I have to play it on my totally legit Game Boy Advance SP that you're seeing right in front of you. I would like to play it on the Wii U, but uh, Nintendo decided that they're not going to do transactions on the eShop anymore. You have to buy gift cards. Hooray for that. Atmospheric stabilizers online, but many X have already made it to other sectors, it seems. In particular, Sector 2, Tro, the tropical habitat, shows ab abnormalities. I suspect the X entered this sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He or it may be in Tro now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Is your objective clear? Start moving. I'll brief you at the Tro navigation room. All right. Let's head over there. More elevator monologue? As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would end orders by saying, Any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. It's a good question. It's a Galactic Federation computer. Uh, for those who don't know Samus' history, she was a part of the Galactic Federation for a long time, and then she decided to become a bounty hunter. She had enough of taking orders and just wanted to do her own thing. And she became one of the most iconic video game characters of all time. Her background with the Galactic Federation is explored a bit more in Metroid Other M, which is not a very well-received game. But I think it's okay. I haven't spent too much time playing it, so I couldn't give you an honest review. But I like the story. I like how it fills in some of the gaps of Samus' story. I have learned the identity of our mysterious saboteur. Samus, it's an X mimicking you. I have named it the SA-X. 
I believe the SAX came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached the capsules containing all the X that started this disaster. But the SAX is definitely our biggest worry right now. The SAX is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. You are still very vulnerable to cold and unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with the ice beam. Stay away. If you see it, just run. HQ says they have bomb data ready in the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out if the SAX traps you. The data room is here, but it is sealed by a level 1 hatch. You will have to find the security room and release the level 1 locks. But per safety protocols, it's not marked on the map. You'll have to find it on your own somehow, Samus. So first, find the security room and unlock level 1. Hatches, then go to the data room and get that bomb data. Is your objective clear? Keep an eye out for the SAX. If you see it, do not engage, or it will mess you up. It is the most terrifying element in this game. Okay, I'll stop. But yes, the SAX is terrifying as a kid. It is... It shows up, and you stand no chance against it. It can freeze you, it can damage you, it can chase you throughout zones. If you encounter it early in the game, the best thing you can do is stay hidden, and it will eventually move on. Later on, you'll be able to deal with it, but throughout most of the game, even when you get power-ups, the best thing to do is to avoid it. It is you at full power, minus the gravity suit. So it's got your Ice Beam, Charge Beam, Power Bombs, Power Missiles, Morph Ball, Morph Ball Jump, your Boosters. It is, like I said, it is basically Samus minus the Gravity Suit from Super Metroid. Whereas you're just rebuilding your abilities, the SAX has all of them. These little, uh... X parasite pillars can't really do anything with those now. We'll be able to later with a certain uh, missile upgrade. I mean, those who have played this game before know exactly everything I'm talking about, so it's no surprise to them. But I'm I'm narrating for the newcomers to this game who might have perchance have stumbled upon this little uh, let's play. I know a lot of people don't like commentaries in Let's Plays, but I'm going to be honest. A Let's Play is gameplay with commentary. A walkthrough is gameplay without commentary. So if you want to walk through, this is the wrong video. Because I'm not going to be, and I should have mentioned this in the beginning, I'm not going to be 100%ing this game. I usually put that as a disclaimer. I've never been able to 100% it. I will get the E-tanks and missile tanks that I can. But... Overall, I'm not planning on 100%ing it. At all. Okay. Alright, so... The level 1 security hatches... The security room is on the other side, if I remember correctly, so... I'll have to come back here later. And I believe between now and when we get to the data room, we will run into the SAX. And I'll show you just what I mean about how terrifying it is. At least I'll try to show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh man, my chest is getting heavy. I might not be able to record for much longer. With whatever is going on with my... Uh, with my chest... It's it's like it, it, gets, uh, it gets heavy and it gets filled with stuff. And I gotta not talk as much so I'm taking a lot of risk by recording these but I want to get them done and I want to get them uploaded so I'll probably be doing just two parts at a time so it'll be a very slow LP but it'll be a lot easier for me to edit an intro and an outro basically just an intro and an outro and cuts where I need to that sort of thing But guys, I am so excited and so happy to be playing this game. It is it is a masterpiece. It was one of my most played Game Boy Advance games of all time. It's just so it's just so good. The atmosphere, the visuals, everything is just stunning. 
This is the game I've seen the most requested within its community for a remake. Which is why I'm very surprised that a lot of people said that they didn't like it in comparison to Super Metroid. And if, if you want to know what my opinions are between which is better, this or Super Metroid, I think Super Metroid does a lot of things a lot better. It certainly streamlines certain things, whereas this game... There's a lot of stuff that's removed, like, for instance, the status screen. Like, you can't interact with anything. You can't change your weapons. It's just a visual cue. And uh, your map is very useful still, but it's it's mostly assets from Super. But it's kind of toned down a bit. And I'm doing this because I did do Super, and I had such a fun time with Super. But I really do think that overall, for me, Fusion is the better game. But not by much. Not, not by a whole lot. It's just, I like the way Samus looks. I like the way the story plays out. I like the X parasites It feels very... It feels very much like Metroid 4 should be. Just like Metroid Dread feels very much like Metroid 5. I was very worried how Metroid Dread would turn out. I was very excited, but cautiously optimistic, because... The last, more traditional Metroid entry was Other M, and it was so weirdly received but no this was a true return to form and they did an absolutely fantastic job with that and i can't wait for metroid 6 i know people are still waiting for metroid prime 4 but i've not been as big on the metroid prime games as i have been on the 2d metroids the 2d metroids are definitely more my uh more my type of game so all right so where are we at 21 minutes um, okay. What I'm going to do is go up here, hit the save, and then I'll come back and record once I'm feeling a little better later. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Glad you stuck around. And in the next episode, I believe we'll be facing a boss. And then, moving on from this sector. So, this has been Super Koopa. God bless. Have a good one. Peace.